What's going on guys? Nolan here from Neurotic RC. Today I have something really cool to show you guys today. In front of you, you can see this looks like a dyno. So on my new 3D printer, I got a Bamboo Lab A1, not the mini, just the A1, AMS Lite. And you can see I got a couple different cool colors with this. And this is a 3D printed dyno that fits perfectly on a Kyosho Mini Z and it actually works. Um, this took a lot of time to try and scale it and size it right so it would fit the Mini Z and this actually does fit all wheelbases. But as you can see, this is a great way to display your Mini Z if you have uh, enough space to display it with the dyno instead of your lift and it actually works if you turn it on and power it up you can actually get it to roll and that was almost full throttle so as you can see, it's very capable of actually taking the RPMs that these Mini Zs make. And you can see this wheel isn't perfectly centered. That was on purpose. If it, they were both in the middle here, it actually eventually start to walk out because these things spin so fast and these uh, rollers can't catch up. So right here, it's actually optimized and is best for the wheels to be right here. Another thing is that <clears throat> it comes with not many pieces and it's fairly small. The pieces are, you get these two ramps for each side and they're only on the one end. And you basically get this. And this is, so if you have like a 120 millimeter wheelbase, you can actually extend this dyno out so you can make it super long if you have a really unique style of mini z maybe like a uh, wl toys if you modified it to be super long so you can actually make it super long like that i don't have any of the other kind of mini z's i have all of the sizes for the kyosho mini z's but any of the like off-brand ones or um any of the really high quality ones i don't have so if they have a longer wheelbase it may or may not work but it works for majority of the Mini Z chassis. All of the Kyosho Mini Z chassis work. It's really easy to put together. It comes with these four rollers and these just clip in and it and it works. I recommend putting a little bit of oil or grease in here and it just keeps it a little bit quieter because uh, without that it can be kind of loud. As far as I know is the world's first 3D printed Mini Z dyno. I know there are some Mini Z dynos out there but they're not 3D printed and cheap and versatile like this. So if you guys want to get one of these go in the description go check it out. I have it listed on my Etsy page. Really I'd really appreciate if you guys can support the channel. I know uh, a lot of people have actually ordered these uh, lifts, which are for the Mini Zs. They just sit on like that, and every person that's uh, received these have been really happy, and I've gotten great feedback with these, and their adjustable height. This little dyno right here is awesome. I love it because, I mean, it's great for display, and it works. If you have any questions about this, please just throw it down in the comments and um but yeah let's see it run one more time that was a full throttle pass right there so it's really capable as you can see And you can roll right off of it too. The street tires on these, this is the all wheel drive version uh, Mini Z, and I just have street tires on it. So keep in mind that it may not work uh, as well with the drift tires. I mean, typically, if you have it on a dyno, you normally just do normal street tires, but I mean, it still probably will work. It'll probably be better actually with drift tires because then 
um, you just have no traction and it's just really spinning these rollers and you don't get you won't walk away on it so thank you guys again for watching I'll just put a clip at the end of this thing ripping through the gears making a huge pull I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.